everyone, it's Tatiana from Tatiana's Everyday Food and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I have the ultimate strawberry cake recipe for you guys and I think today this has to be the tallest cake I've made on my channel. Watch along and I'll be making my strawberry marshmallow cake. I'm using my basic sponge cake layers, adding lots of fresh strawberries on the inside and I'm using a strawberry flavored Russian zephyr for the marshmallow layers, adding a strawberry buttercream, chocolate ganache and more zephyr on top. I'm gonna start things off by preparing my zephyr or strawberry marshmallow into a small saucepan. I'm going to pour in half a cup of cold water. Next, I'm gonna sprinkle on two teaspoons of agar gelatin. And this is a seaweed-based gelatin and it sets at a higher room temperature. So this doesn't need to be refrigerated. I have a quarter cup of cold water here and to that I'm going to add a quarter cup of strawberry flavored jello. And this is going to act as the flavor for our marshmallow. I'm just gonna stir this around and then take this to the microwave and heat it in about 10 to 15 second intervals until the gelatin is completely dissolved. And now back to my agar gelatin. I'm heating the saucepan over medium heat. So as it cooks, it's going to thicken into applesauce-like consistency. And now I'm gonna start adding my sugar. I have two cups of white granulated sugar. I'm gonna add about half a cup at a time and just allow that mixture to absorb all the sugar. Once you've added all the sugar, give it a good stir and continue cooking this over medium heat. You wanna keep stirring constantly until the mixture comes up to a simmer. While my agar gelatin is cooking, I'm going to start on my egg whites. I'm gonna drop in three egg whites into my mixing bowl and I'm going to whisk these on medium speed just until soft peaks form. And once it does come to a simmer, set your timer for three minutes. My sugar syrup is ready and now I'm going to turn my mixer back up onto medium speed and pour in the sugar syrup slowly whisking at the same time. Once you've added all your sugar syrup, you wanna keep whisking for about a minute and then add the remaining ingredients. I have juice from half a lemon, about one and a half tablespoons. I'm gonna add a few drops of red food coloring to give my zephyr or marshmallow a really rich deep color and I'm gonna pour in my dissolved strawberry jello. And now I'm gonna turn this back up to high speed and keep whisking for about seven to eight minutes until the meringue starts to thicken. You know your marshmallow is ready when it starts to thicken and it'll pull away from the sides of the mixing bowl and start sticking to your whisk. And now we need to work quickly. I've prepared two eight inch round cake pans. I've wrapped the bottom and the sides with some plastic wrap. I'm just gonna drop the meringue right in. I'm gonna grab my offset spatula and smooth the zephyr down into a layer. I transferred the rest of my marshmallow meringue into a large pastry bag and I'm using tip number 847. I'm piping the marshmallow out onto a baking sheet that's lined with plastic wrap. And the plastic wrap I think works best for these. And for the last step, I'm just going to sprinkle the tops of the marshmallows with some confectioner sugar. I'm gonna do the same thing for my zephyr layers. Sprinkle that confectioner sugar on top. And now my zephyr marshmallow is ready to set. It takes about an hour at room temperature. Now keep in mind, the outside will develop a nice crunchy shell, but the inside is gonna stay super soft. While the zephyr marshmallow layers are setting, you can prepare the sponge cake. Head over to my sponge cake video recipe and prepare the full recipe for six eggs. Divide the batter between two eight inch pans and these are the beautiful layers that you should get. And now it's time for my buttercream. I'm going to add two cups of softened butter into my mixing bowl. If you don't want an all butter buttercream, you can actually replace uh, one cup of the butter with a brick of cream cheese. And now I'm going to whisk this on high speed for a few minutes until that butter is light and fluffy. I'm going to add in about three cups of confectioner sugar. Drop that right in. And about one teaspoon of strawberry emulsion, or you can use strawberry extract. The emulsion just already has the food coloring in it. It's gonna add a little pink color to our frosting. I'm gonna start this out on low speed so the powdered sugar doesn't go everywhere, and then switch it up to high speed until my frosting is light and fluffy. To add even more strawberry flavor, I'm going to spread some strawberry puree between the layers. I have about two and a half cups of fresh strawberries. You don't need to add any sugar to this because I feel the cake is already sweet enough. I'm just going to crush these with my potato masher. 
My sponge cake layer has cooled completely. I'm gonna grab a large serrated knife and split the layer in two. And I'm gonna spread a generous amount of my strawberries right into the center. And this sponge cake is the perfect vessel for absorbing all these delicious juices. The sponge cake tends to be a little bit on the dry side, so adding some strawberry preserves or strawberry fruit is gonna be the perfect way to add even more flavor. Next, I'm going to add on my first zephyr layer. And the marshmallow should lift right out of the pan. I'm just going to invert it right on top of my strawberries. That plastic wrap should pull right off. I'm gonna add just a little bit of buttercream to keep the zephyr in place with my next layer. And add on my second sponge cake layer. And now I'm going to add my second marshmallow layer. Next, I'm going to add a layer of sponge cake soaked with my strawberry puree. And for this layer, I'm going to add on some sliced strawberries. And now it's time to seal all this in with the remaining buttercream. I'm going to finish my cake with a simple chocolate ganache. I've heated half a cup of heavy cream until it's steaming hot, and to that I'm going to add in one cup of dark chocolate melts. And then just stir this around until you have a smooth mixture. And now I'm going to pour my chocolate ganache over the top. I'm going to dip some of my marshmallows into chocolate to garnish the top of my cake and I've melted some white chocolate melts in my bowl here. So you want to very gently lift the zephyr off of the cling wrap. It's still going to be a little bit soft and then just grab it and then dip it into the white chocolate. And to give these marshmallows a really fun finish, I'm going to drizzle some dark chocolate over the top. And now it's time to cut into this beauty to see what it's all about. Grab a large serrated knife. And now for the moment of truth and beauty. Oh, look at that. I absolutely love all the different layers you can see here on the inside. Two marshmallow layers, lots of fresh strawberries, all sandwiched between my sponge cake. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for, it's time to dig in and give this cake a try. Mmm. This cake literally melts in your mouth and I love all the amazing strawberry flavor here. And my favorite part is the Russian zephyr. If you haven't had zephyr, you are in for a special treat. It's a little different from American marshmallow and it literally melts into your mouth. It's so, so good. If you have any leftovers, you wanna keep them in an airtight container, keep them covered for up to a week. They're so good as little snacks just on their own. If you guys are looking for an amazing strawberry flavored cake, you have to give this cake a try. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video recipe and I'll see you next time.